artist, creating art for art's sake is no longer fashionable. It has to be something to expose, a fact to draw attention to, and the focus has to get a hearing, and not just about the aesthetics. But that's something the Nigerian crowd would try to get used to, as many of them are still gripped by the beauty of the artwork. That's part of our lineup today on the show. Welcome, I'm Melinda Akinlami. Picasso is the reason why I paint. He's the father figure who gave me the wish to paint. I remember Francis Bacon who would say that he felt he was given art what he thought it previously lacked. With me, it's the fascination with what's difficult. This is not a common scenario on our shores, but it happens worldwide. It's called an open studio, an opportunity for an artist to discuss any project that has just been completed. And its content mean a lot to her because with it she's found a voice and an identity which has traveled through many continents. I engage a lot with fabrics, I'm looking at the histories that surround textiles and even trying also to bring those histories to contemporary times. I've worked, my, my work has slipped into the influx of used clothing and also looking at the that's used clothing, that's Okrika. And looking also at the possible implication that these clothing, these used clothes have on the textile industry, on the fashion industry, in our own context. This surgeon to find her voice has taken her three years and many nations. I'm, I'm still um, working with a textile um, museum in New York where I'm trying to also find out how I can conserve these fabrics. Do for the smaller scale works that I do, I use some kind of adhesive on the fabrics such that the fabrics cannot be eaten up by insects or anything or any kind of um, termite. But for the larger pieces that I do, which are mostly all fabrics, I am I'm still working on finding conservative measures. Even though I know that, for example, I try to take precautionary measures like not allowing people to eat around where I store the, the, the fabrics and all of that. Because when the ants finish eating up the leftovers, they're going to look for my fabrics. But then I'm still looking at sustaining measures that I can conserve the works here in Nigeria. It's been captured in these photographs for everyone to see the continuous interactions between contemporary tradition, which is visible in the weaving of textiles. I generate fictitious history to support these works. This history is looks at issues of um, archaeology, looks at colonialism, because all of those are interwoven in our histories. Her materials are varied from used plastics, papers, plastic bags, and other recycled things which are cut, sewn, woven, tied, glued to create sculptures and installations which show the clothing history in Nigeria. When you look at um, how um, used clothes are brought into Africa and we had functional textile industries in the 60s and now we don't have any functional industries. We're importing all used clothes. Even the traditional wears, the, the prints that we celebrate so much, are also all not produced yet, are also all imported. So when you look at all of that, I believe that if our government is changed fundamentally, that our identity itself could be questioned because our textiles were not just produced, they were not just, the, um, the designs were not just decorative, they were also means of communication, which were very significant to the people, and we're losing all of that. And there's more where that came from. The use of costumes in Nigerian ceremonies and performances to contemporary mass-produced clothing, which means different things to different people. I decided to use fabrics because it was like the, the, the material that could actually convey my message properly, like using the 
the right material for the right work and the right in the right context. Um, if I had to depend, for example, looking at the weaving cultures that is dying now, that's been in Africa since the 15th century, yet is dying today. Looking at that weaving culture, if I needed, I mean, and I'm doing a lot of work with weaving, weaving fabrics together to create um, textiles. I can't use paint to to weave. I can't paint with paint. A painting is just, an, I mean, a genre of art, and there are several genres of art. And I use different material based on the one that best conveys my message. The University of Uyo graduate intends to put all these together for her solo exhibition soon. Coming up on the program, we'll have more artifacts for you to feast your eyes on. So sit back, relax. The fun continues in a moment. International. He studied fine arts at the Ahmadu Melo University, Zaria, where he trained under the legendary British teachers and graduated with a first class degree in painting in 1975. Sagan. 